Hey guys, uh, current energies check-ins for the weekend. Um, I don't want to go right into it because it's like, nah, it's too abrupt. But then again, I have not much to say. Well, I'm uh, manifesting something, which I'm not going to talk about because it's going to take a little bit for it to come together. Um, like probably a year or two. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm doing something, but I'm not going to talk. Um, but I'm excited about it. And I started to dream about it, actually. So that's kind of a good sign. Um, I got Felix and Kai here, which are in play mode. So if you hear loud banging, that's them. Because they're big boys. They're big boys. They're playing tough. Juno is uh, currently banned <laughs> from being here. Uh, cause she's got, she's got too much energy for me to contain while I'm working. So you, you'll see her soon enough. You'll see her. Uh, so yeah, um, nothing, nothing really to talk about. I don't know. Still kind of waking up. Um, Felix, oh. Yeah, um, so let's get going. Current energies check-ins for the weekend. I'll be looking into each of you individually by elements, uh, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Um, quick, to the point, no clarification. Whatever comes out is what you get. And uh, there'll be no extended for the Friday video. Um, I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be that of a person or a situation uh, where that other energy is at in regards to you, where the connected energies are at, and then I'll be pulling some cards for from the universe for each of you. Um, <clears throat> Kai, as usual, is noisy. Because Felix is eating and he just went there and he's just meh. So I'm not sure why, but apparently he wants to talk. Um, roles can be reversed. Um, da, 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 da. What are you pulling with? I just cut your nails yesterday and I left one. I left one because he got unsettled at the last one. And when he's needing me, I get that one. It's the right, left, one of these. I gotta get it today. So yeah, um, that was him scratch posting. Anyways, uh, I think we're good to go. Sorry, I don't have more stories. I do, but I keep them for me for now. Cause it's, I mean, it's a process. Um, and I know you, you'll hear about it when it starts heading in that direction, but it's, it's too soon for now. It's at the stage of, oh, I want to do this. So anyways, uh, let's get going. Earth signs, Capricorn. Okay, on your side, you get the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil. Um, we're going to take this Devil energy as being you. You know, there's... there's um, Your energy comes in a little bit as uh, I'm focusing on this on and this only. And it, it feels like you're missing everything else that happens around. There's, there's a big-ass focus on something on your part. Um, which is not a bad thing, it's not, but it, it encloses you into that whole space of raw, let's go. And then if something happens over here in the periphery, you're like, 
bra, let's go, you know? So, so it's like almost like missing some things around you. Uh, really focused here on something. So I don't know what it is. It's looking like it's building up. It's looking like it's working out. Um, but it feels like it takes you completely in terms of your whole energy is there and only there. Um, the energy attached to you, the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Well, there's someone here possibly. Um, there... Mm. It's a very kind of a neutral kind of an energy. It's mm, men. Like on their own, doing their thing, and then kind of like, oh, but I feel this for Cappy, but I don't want to feel this, so fuck it. But they still feel it. So it's like, I don't know, there's, there's a sense of attraction here that they carry towards you, but it feels like they don't agree with it. I don't know what this is. I feel like your energy is not focused on this. But this is focused on your energy, on you. For the connection, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, whatever this is or was, or I don't know what this is, but it, it feels like it's a difficult one. It feels like it's, there's a disconnect here. I mean, your energy is definitely focused some someplace else. You, I don't know where. You're building something. I feel like it's in the material, possibly your work. Um, and then there's this other energy around you kind of trying to get your attention. Remember what I told you, your focus is here. And if they're here, you're like, whatever. And it feels like they are here. So that's why it, it kind of becomes difficult here to connect these two energies, you know? So that's what shows up in the connected energies, um, like a sense of difficulty. Someone wants to, someone wants to bring it up you know, bring it, bring it more to life than this, but it feels hard, it feels difficult. And I feel like the one who wants to is this one attached to you. Let's see what the universe has. Yeah, hold on. There's apparently many more twisted cards here, okay. Uh, from the universe, you get the Queen of Wands, the Hangman, the Four of Wands. Yeah, someone wants commitment here, but nothing's happening around that. No, no movement around that. There's little attempts here and there, but again, if you're like this and you don't see this, they can move here, they can freaking jump a cord. It's not, no, you're not, you're going to be like, who, what? There's, did a bird pass by or like, you know, it's, no. So there's... Not much happening here, just you kind of focusing on something. Your own thing, doing your own thing. Okay, that was pretty... I don't know. Pretty sharp. Anyways, moving on to Taurus. Do you want to come here and be lazy here? Or you're, you're kind of waiting for Kai to come at you because you're in play mode. I see you. I see those little eyes being like, where's my brother? Where's my brother to slap me? And then I slap him and then we groom and then we move and then we groom. Oh man, these boys. Let's see, Taurus. On your side, the Strength card, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Swords. Um, it feels like you're possibly in the middle of disconnecting from something, but it's a very confusing process. It's not as easy as, oh, okay, I'm just going to leave this now and buy. You know, it doesn't come in like that. It's something that's very confusing. It feels like it's almost impossible to do, but you're kind of in the middle of doing it. So I don't know what this is to you. You may want to disconnect from this, but it creates a whole lot of overthinking here. Um, whatever's connected to you here, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the World card. Well, there's, I mean, 
these energies are pretty solid, pretty good in the way that they show up. There's love, there's stability on this side. Um, there is an ending of a cycle though. So even though there's that, that whole love and that whole stability, I feel like something is coming to a close here. Maybe it's just a, maybe it's just a cycle. Maybe it's not the connection. I don't know. For the connection, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of feeling alone within a situation where there's more than one energy. So it's that whole sense of even though I'm here with this person, I feel like they're not even here. You know, um, someone is disconnected emotionally. It, it does show up on your side. So because of that, there's a whole lot of confusion and there's a whole lot of feeling like you're on your own. You know, you and them. Um, let's see what the universe has. Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Okay, so there's not only love here. They're, they're coming from a very fiery place. They're coming from a stable environment too, which I feel like they have that to offer as well. So I don't know who this is to you, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. Pretty impressive energies here. But as long as you're disconnected from your own emotions, I don't know if you're gonna acknowledge that even. Um, they do show up with a closing here though, with uh, even though I carry these energies, even though I'm attached to you with these energies, Maybe because you're not participating in this. I don't know. I don't know. The energies that are coming through are pretty good. But someone is uh, emotionally disconnected from themselves. So I'm not sure how well they're going to receive these energies. So that's it. Kai, stop chewing on the tag of the carpet, please. Why is that tag there? For Kai to chew on it. Moving on to Virgo. I almost pulled out an overall. I'm like, no. Um, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Hangman. It kind of feels like you're good with whatever. Uh, there's a sense of separation here. There's a sense of abandonment. There's also a sense of, well, I'm good. With or without, it kind of feels okay to you. Which doesn't feel right. There's something about this that feels off. This is where I would clarify to catch you somewhere here within these energies because there's this energy of separation of um, something being taken away but then there's you feeling good you know on this side. Not about that necessarily but it's like you have these two alternatives and, and whichever one you fall it's all good. Okay, um, you're kind of in the middle there with the hangman here. You're kind of in the middle of those, so that's why you're not falling in either one of those, but are kind of feeling the effects of both, kind of a thing. So I don't know, you're at the edge there. The energy attached to you the eight of pentacles, the two of cups, the eight of cups they're there, they're putting in the effort, definitely. I'm not sure how connected they are emotionally to this, how much they want this from the perspective of love. But they're there. What's up with people disconnecting from their emotions? What, what happened? Um, in the connected energies, the Seven of Wands, the World card, the Strength card. There's something 
heavy weighing down on this situation. I'm not sure what it is. I do see a little bit of a separation here in between the energies. I do see you just kind of staying there up in the air with it. this other energy kind of trying a little more than you are, but at the same time, they're disconnected from it somehow. Um, so there's, there's like this big space between the two of you. And then in the connection, it feels like cycles are ending over and over and over again. <clears throat> Not only for you, for everybody, apparently. Um, which cycle's ending doesn't, again, doesn't have to mean, oh, this connection is coming to an end. And for some it does, for others is more like, there's some shifts going on. There's something happening. There's some restructuring uh, within dynamics, apparently. But there seems to be a little bit of heaviness uh, being pushed away from this through this ending of the cycle. If the both of you are willing to participate in whatever is being brought to the table in, in terms of energies. Um, let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> that was sneaky, Kai. That was, that was not nice. See? See what you get? Um... Ace of Pentacles, the Tower of the Lovers. Yeah, something happened here uh, where there was a possibility for something to be restructured, restored, for something to start over basically, and something happened that mm, kind of went against that. Um, boys, chill. This is definitely a connection, a powerful connection that's at play, but there's some sense of disconnect here. So I don't know. Boys, stop it. If you're gonna take down my camera, I swear to God. I swear to God, what? I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm just kinda gonna get up, start chasing you guys until you chill out. Even though when you see me get up, you chill out, you chill out immediately. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes if that happens. Um, fire signs, Aries. They're under the bench. We decided to chase each other under here. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Let's see. Aries. Wow. I agree. Aries Cusper, you should know what's going on here. All right, on your side, you get the Empress, the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Wow, these are beautiful energies on your side. Um, there's a whole lot of love you carry for someone, and I feel like it's being shared. I don't know if in the physical, um, definitely energetically, it's being shared here because it's, it's kind of like overwhelming. It's kind of like there's no choice. It's too much that it's like, okay, go out, love. Um, it's beautiful the way it looks on your side. On their side, the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Star. They're looking for something stable. They're manifesting stability. They're manifesting long term. And it's all attached to you here. So it's like you're providing the love. They're providing the stability. Um, interesting. For the connection, the Strength card, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's that whole mix of um, the energy of love and the energy of groundness of um, let's put it out in the 3D and let's make it happen kind of a thing. I feel like it's difficult to do that, but the energies are so strong that it's kind of helpful. And it, even though it's difficult, it doesn't make it feel that difficult. Um, We'll see. I'm not sure if it's shown up in the 3D quite yet, but these are powerful energies that may actually manifest in the 3D eventually. Let's see what the universe has.
Ooh. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Queen of Swords. Hmm. <clears throat> There's something else here um, in the mix. There could be another situation on the side here, basically. So there's this connection doing its own thing energetically. I don't see it again. I don't see it physically yet. Uh, and there's something else attached to either you or them or even the both of you. I don't know. There's something else here. This is showing up more as something that feels right to the soul. This other situation is showing up as something that feels right to the mind, which is telling me, okay, this makes sense that it's in my life. So I don't know what it is, uh, but it's here. There's another energy that shows up here. So that's it. Moving on to Leo. Are you biting on the furniture, Kai? You're not a kitten kitten anymore. Uh -huh. I... Is there a spring under there? Uh... Anyways, let's see, Leo. his butt up in the air his head is under this ottoman thing and his butt is because there's another beanbag looking chair right next to the ottoman and his his head or his he was like this under the thing and then his butt was up in the air on the yeah you should see this guy he's crazy leo on your side you get the wheel of fortune the page of pentacles the knight of swords i feel like there's a change in direction for you almost um like something happened that you know your energy was focused in that direction and then something came up and then you're like oh wait a minute i need to focus on that you know so it's like a change in direction a change in your actions even your energy where you're putting your energy has changed has shifted um it could be something new it could be some new idea you have because i see something where you're kind of opening up to learning about the direction in which you're going and then you're going for it so i don't know what that is in the energy attached to you they get the moon the ten of swords the hermit someone feels defeated here someone feels like something is coming to an end um they're not showing that much they're not i i feel like they're they're not even experiencing that much they know some of that energy because it's kind of shown up hidden from them but um they feel it there's something here that they feel that is coming to an end maybe because you shifted your focus i don't know for the connection the nine of cups the knight of cups the six of wands there's love here there's love in this situation. It could be again, because that happens a lot. When someone shifts their focus out of a connection they have with someone, the other energy is automatically kind of going in the direction of, oh, they're, they don't love me anymore or something. You know, oh my God, what what is this going to do to our connection? Nothing. It's just a shift of energies. Because um, the love is here, definitely. And it feels like it's being shared and it feels like it feels good. Uh, let's see what the universe has. Oh, he's going for it. You're, you're a goofball, Kai. You're really a goofball. Yeah.
All right, uh, from the universe, you get the King of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. There's that, um, there's a commitment here that you're tied up to. I feel like this is what, what's happening here. And there's something that shows up that drags you someplace else. It's like the Two of Pentacles. Yes, it's like those two or more directions of, should I give here? Should I give here? Should I, where should I go? Should I, uh, but not confusion necessarily. It's like you want it all. You want to split your energy into uh, almost like you're busy. You know, you're giving here, you're giving there, you're giving, but you are attached to this commitment, you know, like, at the core of it all, at the base of it all, there's this commitment here that's shown up and you could be getting busy or I don't know. Cause I do see a, a, a change in terms of where you put your energy at. Um, and it's very kind of new, kind of, I need to learn about it first kind of a thing. So I don't know. Anyways, that's it, Leo. All right, moving on to Sagittarius. On your side, you get the Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands. You know that expression, let's talk, we need to talk? I feel like you're trying to avoid the we need to talk part. But there definitely needs to be a talk here. Um, I kind of get the sense that it's coming from you in the sense of, all right, let's lay it all out. Let's, you know, let, let's talk. Let's talk. Um, but you don't want it too. You don't want it either. You're like... Yeah, I need to do this. I need to make it happen. I need to bring it up. I don't really want to, though. You know, I'm, I'm going to avoid that. I'm, I'm going to do it later. I'm, uh, yeah, we need to talk, but, mm, you know. For the energy attached to you, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Four of Swords. They're trying to heal. There is a sense of separation here. There is a sense of, I don't want to be feeling this. I, like, um, no, I, there's something going on here where there's a whole lot of unspoken things, untalked about things, you know, that have been avoided for quite some time. And they piled up into, well, I guess, I guess this is done or at least a feeling like that, at least on this other energy side. Um, which they're trying to heal, at least, you know, for the connection, the two of swords, the hierophant, the moon. Yeah, it's like question mark on this connection. Nobody knows what to do with it. Everybody is in their head about it. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. We don't have to do anything about it. We'll just sit in this confusion, you know, kind of looks like that. Okay, let's see what the universe has. Two of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Neither of you want to let this go. The problem is this love is not being experienced. It's not being shared. And I feel like you hold the, like the ball is in your court somehow where you have this drive that things need to be taken care of here. Things need to be laid out on the table like we need to talk about this we've delayed this for too long but you keep on delaying it by not doing it basically uh because at the same time neither of you want to let this go so it's like so are you gonna live with this elephant in the room and nobody addresses it at all just kind of 
sit there up in the air and just kind of look at the elephant and be like, okay, elephant, cool. It's creating this, you know, it's taking a lot of space in the room, but it's like, well, it's okay. I'll have my corner here. I don't need to expand. The elephant can expand. I'll, I'll be right here, you know? So doesn't quite make sense where there's there's an issue that needs to be talked about here and it's getting bigger and bigger the more it's being delayed but nobody wants to do anything about it so yeah okay moving on to libra Air signs, I forgot. Air signs, Libra. On your side, you get the Chariot, the Seven of Cups, the Two of Cups. Something's coming in fast for you in terms of your desires tied up to love. It could be that um, I see it as something new. I see you in the direction of moving on and, you know, stumbling across this love situation. Like, uh oh, what do we have here? Um, It's interesting about what, what what is up with people today what are you doing some are disconnected some are having something there but they're not doing anything so i see you kind of you know okay finding this love on your path but not doing anything just finding it feeling it everything's fine i don't see you necessarily oh let me go and do something about it which is okay now on their side the emperor the five of pentacles the star they may have a problem with commitment. They have this, it's like half of them is their fear of failure, fear of abandonment, fear of committing themselves to someone else. Half of them. That's how it shows up. Like they're this whole individual Half of them is who they truly are. Half of them is fear. So this is going to be a difficult one for them, possibly for you as well. Um, for the connection, the nine of pentacles, the hangman, the world card. Okay. Yeah, I feel like nobody did anything about this because, uh, again, there's that... Fear of commitment that's shown up here. Fear to tie themselves up to someone, at least for one of you. I don't know who it is. It shows up on their side, but roles can be reversed. Uh, something's happening with that, though. Something is shifting within that energy of I'm not, you know, I'm by myself. I'm single. I'm doing my own thing. Everything's fine. Something is shifting in there. I don't know why, because I'm not clarifying, but something is starting to shift in there. But man, big time um, not wanting commitment here. Showing up for the love, wanting the love, not wanting commitment. Let's see. From the universe, you get the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, very confusing. I get it. Because someone is really confused about it. It's like, well, if they don't want it, why did they show up like this? You know, very passionate, very uh, open and all. But then when it comes down to it, it's like, oh, where are they? Where'd they go? Well, they're not here, you know? So it's, it's very, very confusing here. Because there's all of these energies that are being felt. And that's it. Nobody really wants to 
settle down with them necessarily not to settle down but at least assume that okay you know let's try something here or let's i don't know but uh there's a big wound of abandonment there for sure and that's not allowing them that's that allows them to see this whole sense of commitment long-term love as a threat so that's it libra moving on to aquarius oh alex you're so majestic and then your little brother with his butt up in the air not really not really majestic but you are You're in a position here of sharing your energy with someone and there's definitely a whole lot of perceiving this as if it's equal give and take. Make sure it is. Because I don't know if it is. The devil is here. So that tells me that someone is putting in a little less effort than they may think they are. You know, like I'm giving a lot, I'm putting in a lot, I'm, you know, and it creates this whole dynamic of I give to them, they give to me, everything's great, everybody's happy. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't believe that. I feel you believe, like you believe that. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, and it's kind of falling on your side. So I don't know if it's them, if it's you. You get to decide, but be honest with yourself. You know, if there is a situation, just kind of go into it and look if it is equal give and take. And if it's not, it's not. You know, that's something you can assume and work with. Um, but it's showing up here. For the energy attached to you, the sun, the seven of wands, the ten of pentacles. Okay, so they want happiness here, definitely. But there's a little bit of um, rejecting the idea of carrying this through long term. And I can understand that, especially if someone is dealing with, is this equal give and take or not? Am I giving too much? Am I giving too little even? And can that allow for this expansion into the Ten of Pentacles? Because if not, mm. so it kind of makes sense that one of you has that rejection towards long term, towards stability, when this energy is not clear of, is it equal give and take, you know? For the connection, the Four of Pentacles, the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles. I get this energy. I get it. Okay. Yeah. You know, I want to go in though. I want to try. I want to make it happen. I want, I want, I want. I get it. I get the enthusiasm behind it. I get, but again, this whole reading for you, for them, for everyone involved is making sure that things are flowing in that equal give and take that is perceived to be here. Um, cause I feel like it's not necessarily so. That's just my take on it. You have to make sure of that because I feel a little bit of backing off from this because of the possibility of that not being there on both sides. Well, more on their side than on yours, but yeah. Uh, let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> Six of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, one is pulling on one side, the other one is pulling towards, pulling at different strings, pulling at, hold on, sneeze. Come on. No. And I didn't want to look at the light because I don't want to sneeze. It's looking like it's coming from nowhere and it's kind of blasting. I don't want to sneeze. Anyways. Um... 
that's why this energy is here of lack of equal give and take because someone is giving within a situation here but at the same time they're pulling away from it so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah i'm in it i'm in it a hundred percent not really not really because something is making them pull in the other direction so that's not kind of coming down to hey let's share our energies here because part of your or their energy is out so no uh so that definitely is um kind of hinting that no that equal give and take is not necessarily here so and that's it Moving on to Gemini. Is this how it's going to be, Gemini, where you're going through hell, they're going through not that much hell, but then the connection is like, oh, we're thriving here. Um, mm, 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 mm. I feel like something is happening that's making you believe that everything is lost in a situation. I feel like you need to experience this feeling of loss for some reason. There's a whole lot of love here on your side. But I don't know what's shaking here that's making you believe that this is done. This is, oh my God, this is done. This is it. Um, so I don't know. I see you kind of feeling this. But because of something that happened. I don't know. And there's a whole lot of love here on your side too. On their side, the High Priestess, the Four of Swords, the Moon... They might be very secretive. They might be very out of the picture. They're, they're, it seems like they're feeling guided towards healing. Um, but for some reason, they need that privacy, I would say. I don't know. But I feel like they're not really in that place of letting people know, hey, you know, I need some time for myself. No, they just kind of cut off here. So that could have happened here that brought you into this place. Because I, I, I do see them healing. And I do see them going for the deep healing there. But man, they just kind of shut down. They just kind of disconnect. And that's because they're connecting to themselves there. Or they're trying to at least. And they're feeling guided to do so. They're feeling guided to go within big time. So it's interesting how one energy shows up as I need some privacy. While the other energy takes it as, oh my god. They shut me down. They don't love me. Um, I want to say that. Of course, how they're or you are kind of dealing with these energies is going to be different on the surface. Again, they might be just kind of disappearing off the face of the earth. And of course, it's going to create all of those, oh my God, oh my God, kind of situations for you. But energetically speaking, they're seeming like they're going deep within. For the connection, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. There's, I mean, you want this situation to be more stable, to look more stable, to, to, I feel like you're starting to open up in the direction of, um, let me figure out ways in which we can make this work in a more stable, ongoing environment kind of thing. And if you're on this side trying to do that while they're disappearing off the face of the earth, that brings you into your energy right there. Um, you know, because this, what you're showing me at an individual level is very emotional. It comes from the inside. What's happening in the connection comes from the outside. It's like, okay, let's see what makes sense to make this happen kind of a thing. Um, mm. Overall, it's good. I just see your reaction to all of it being like really to the extreme. 
uh, which, you know, that could bring out this loss energy within you for you to heal. That may be the point to this. Uh, okay. From the universe, you get the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Star. Oh, definitely desiring. There's a whole lot of desire surrounding this situation for the situation to work out, for the situation to happen. And you're very passionate about it and very confused about it, too. Because, again, as I said, if these are the current energies where someone is just kind of shutting down completely, that leaves you into believing that the end of the world is coming. And then, meanwhile, trying to make this work. It depends on how you're trying to make this work. Because um, emotionally, you're like, oh my god, what's going on? Looks like ghosting here, like complete ghosting, but I don't know. Uh, in the way that they could bring this out. But within, just so you know, they're starting to go in deep into their own healing. That could be a process of days, months, years. I don't know. So whatever this brings out for you, that's where you should look at for yourself. Don't mind them. They're doing their own thing. That's it, Gemini. Moving on to water signs, Pisces. this energy here um on your side you get the three of wands the queen of pentacles the high priestess very calm very soothing energy here very powerful but very soothing um i kind of get the sense that you're you're not waiting in the sense of oh you know the mailman is coming every day at 12 so i gotta wait because i got a package coming or a, a letter coming it's not that kind of a waiting it's a waiting on the outskirt of something on the there there's this connection that you're dealing with and you're not waiting for it to come to you to everything oh my god you know you're healing a lot you're looking like you're waiting but you're not really because you're you know moving on with your life doing your own thing but there's a whole lot of healing and right now you're showing up in an energy of self-love a whole lot of that where you're being guided from the inside to focus on that and I feel like you are within this waiting that's it's not waiting I don't know how to explain it I don't know uh, I'm trying but I don't know um, for the energy attached to you you get the queen of wands the temperance the hierophant there's a whole lot of healing going on on their side too <clears throat> but it feels like it's it, that's why you're showing up as waiting because they're going through it and they've gone through it but there's still you know some some miles to go on their side when it comes to this and i feel like you know that and it's like you're creating the space you're giving them the time to to go through this um but there is a whole lot of growth achieved already they still got some some miles to go uh for the connection the lovers the seven of pentacles the hermit okay yeah, something is something is kind of cooking, kind of working out, kind of growing here. And again, I kind of get the sense that you're the one that provides the space for this to happen, for this growth, for this transformation, for this healing. Because you're doing it on your side, you did it on your side, you're still doing it, but you're, you're that's why you're being pushed into that self-love space so that it comes out of you and creates a space of love for this to happen. Um, it's kind of nice. It's kind of beautiful here. What's happening? Let's see from the universe. Okay. 
Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, The Lovers. Yeah, physically, I don't feel like there's, um, there could be a friendship here on the surface, but it's a whole lot more than that. But nobody's going into that yet. It's kind of like keeping it on the surface here. Like, let's hang out, let's, you know, whatever. But there's something more happening here underneath it all. Something deeper. Um, and it's very healing for both parts. So, that's it. Moving on to Scorpio. On your side, you get the Two of Wands, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups. Um, you're here on the side of something too, just like Pisces, uh, just a little different here, because you're sitting on the side of something, kind of uh, feeling optimistic about something here. Um, there's you definitely standing in your power here with the King of Cups, um, and it almost feels like you applied for a job and you, you know you're going to get it kind of a thing, you know? Um, so that's, I don't know, I don't know what it's about, but I do get a sense of feeling optimistic about it, feeling good about it on your side. Uh, on their side, the Eight of Swords, the Strength card, the Six of Swords. Okay, they're trying to get themselves out of their own way, basically. They're up in their head about things, they're sometimes complicating things, there's, there's a sense of overthinking on their side. And I feel like it takes a lot for them to to leave that behind, but that's where they're at in terms of they're trying. They're trying to keep themselves out of here because it creates commotion, too much commotion that's not necessarily needed here. Um, for the connection, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Wow, that's beautiful. So, I don't know, stepping into your emotion. I, I feel like you are, you already have. You're kind of waiting for them possibly to do so. And that's why you could be waiting and feeling optimistic about it because if they're in this uh, attempt to abandon what's going on here, they're definitely stepping more into their emotions and you could be seeing results of that. There's definitely a stepping up into the love <clears throat> within this connection. And I feel like it's happening. So I don't know, I don't know how this is to you, but it's looking good. Let's see what the universe has. The Ten of Wands, the Temperance card, the King of Cups, it, it sucks to wait, huh? It's because you're in this place of, yeah, I gotta be patient about this, and I am, but it sucks at times. And I get it, it's hard. It's hard to stay open in the space and allow somebody else to step into that place for themselves. <clears throat> It's gonna take a lot of patience, but I feel like you're doing it though. Even though at hard, at hard, at times it's hard, uh, you're doing it. <clears throat> and that's it, Scorpio. Oop, oop, oop. Moving on to Cancer. <clears throat> Kai always likes to sleep under things, under benches, under chairs, under, and Felix always likes to be exposed like in trees or blah. 
I didn't get the little girl's patterns yet. She likes both. She's she's one of all traits, I think. But uh, let's see, Cancer. Five of Wands, the Death card, the Emperor on your side. Okay, 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 okay. So stepping into your power here and kind of being the bigger person here. There's there's definitely an energy of ending some sort of conflict, but it's coming from you where you're putting an end to it. You're like, okay, we're done here. We're done with this energy. So I don't know what this energy, other energy is that you're dealing with, but there's definitely a sense on your side of no more, no more conflict. We're ending this now. Um, on their side, the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Moon. They're responding to this. They're responding quite slow, though. Um, there's still something in them that says, no, we're not done with this. But overall, they're still kind of... But that's something they would have to work with. Because it's something that comes from them. They could blame it on outside things, outside circumstances but it's something that comes from them this rejection to why they don't want this conflict to change to to change for the better to to fix it because it's like when your body does something and inside it's like no i don't want to no you know but it's not inside because it's inside your head that's something that rejects the natural flow of things so i don't know i don't know there's something here but uh, overall, I see a positive response, just a very slow one. Um, for the connection, the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I mean, things are heading towards something better. But again, there's a little bit of a blockage. There's a little bit of someone saying, yeah, let's do this. But I'm going to be stubborn about it and I'm going to make it a little difficult along the way. But I still want this. So I don't know what within them is creating that whole sense of e. Eh. Let's see what the universe has. Ten of Wands, the Lovers, the King of Wands. You're not showing me in this reading. Um, you're not showing me that this could be quite a quite a powerful situation for the both of you for you know something that means a lot for the both of you you're functioning from very logical places here uh not you as much them we're bringing it into but it could be something more powerful more deeper bigger than it seems in terms of the connection between the two of you. Uh, it does show up here from the universe that there is a whole lot going on in terms of how you feel about this, how they feel about this even, uh, but the emotions are not exposed necessarily and that makes things very difficult. It's like someone is functioning a lot from their mind, disregarding how they truly feel about the situation, you know, and it's creating a lot of because a lot of the times on the surface, even though it may make sense, it may look like it makes sense to the mind, inside we may be feeling different about it. So that's where things kind of get riled up and conflicting, which I feel like that's why this conflict is here. I don't know who you're dealing with, but they may be very practical, very logical about things. And this could be something more than that. So that's it. And that's what I got for everyone. I am done. I shall go work on the mid months. So that's it. Nothing new came up. Alex is sleeping. Very cute. Kai is sleeping under the bench. Juno's probably sleeping somewhere. Yeah. So uh, that's it. I will see you soon. Bye.